The problem is who answers their phone these days? No one does. Too many, too many fake calls. It's physics, math, and engineering. Machine it, draft it, build it, test it, break it. Every time something new gets built, the entire world advances. Laying in bed at night, it's designing new parts, designing new suspension, designing new wings. Guess what we're doing? We're giving away a tug. <laughs> Let's go find Mark. ideas to help grow general aviation and we decided to give away a tug and so many of you entered literally thousands of people sent in ideas and suggestions and we couldn't read them all <laughs> we couldn't read them all well, not all right at once eventually over the last couple months we finished them all and we actually assigned some people to help us out and we went through each and every one and then we categorized them and we'll talk more about that about what the most common suggestions were and then we took our 10th favorite, we put them in a hat and we randomly just picked one. Doesn't mean it was our opinion of the very best one. It just was one of the top 10 of a lot of people that had this same idea. And we felt this is the only way to fairly give away a free tug. So we're gonna go get that person and try and call them right now and hopefully let them know. There was another reason we waited a little while to get this done. We have a lot of you that already bought tugs from us, hundreds. And you were Thousands. all in the queue, <laughs> hundreds just recently. And a lot of you were already in the queue to get a new best tux from us. And we didn't want to have someone that won steal a slot and slow down one of our customer deliveries. So the good news is the person we're calling doesn't have to wait for their tug. Let's go call someone. All right. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll give you a mini tour of a little corner of the Best Tugs house. This is our Best Tugs family. We have the gentlemen and ladies and friends of aviation all here to take your calls if you're interested in one of our Best Tugs. Well, the nice thing about our sales staff is they're pilots. Trevor's here, Sol Wayne Katana's right now. Erin's a CFI. She's not just a pilot, she's a flight instructor, so she can answer any questions about Tugs. Of course, Paxton, you've seen in some of our YouTube videos. And so everybody's got their skills and expertise. I hope you don't know, this is Mark's oldest son. Yes. <laughs> so, and we put them in this part of the upstairs because they can actually look down. You can see our shipping department there. It looks like there's 15 or 20 tugs that will go out. You can see all the ones stacked up by this back door. And so if a customer calls and says, where's my tug? They can actually look at the production line and see how it's coming or look and see if it's actually packaged and shipping today or tomorrow. And then back here, we have all of our trade and inventory and so uh, we get a lot of people trading up to a best tug. We sell these products, they come and go real quick, but we'll always get new stuff in. Right now we've got several versions of the aircraft caddy. We've got some uh, love tugs, we've got air tugs, we've got several AC air tugs right now. We've got the Sidewinder, Toe Flex, um, Little Sherman, um, every brand you can think of, literally we, have in our used inventory. And that changes every few days. We probably sell three or four used tugs a week and get about that many people trading in up to a best tug. So um, so that's there so they can look down on all the shelves and look out back to those shelves and see the used inventory. They can see the new inventory as it's coming down to production. And right. that's our sales department. We'd love to sell you best tugs, but if we can't, we'll sell you any of our competitors tugs. Use that for a little while. Some of these have made their rounds out and back two or three times. And uh, when you're ready, we can help you move up, but we always want to get you into tug that moves your aircraft at any budget you can afford to do. So we're going to take care of you. That's right. Well, we had a lot of entries yeah. and 
a lot of ideas you felt like, okay, I've heard that one, heard that one. And it's not that there weren't a bunch of original ideas, there just was very common themes. That's right. My favorite uh, was probably the sharing aviation with others theme. Now there's a lot of different ways to do that. There's a lot of airplanes sitting around that aren't being flown at all. Go to any airport, you'll find airplanes in hangars that aren't opening, that are airworthy and functioning aircraft that the person who owns it loves aviation, loves their airplane, maybe medical isn't there, maybe their eyesight isn't there, but they can't let go of aviation. So the plane sits, rotting, really. Yep. And the idea that you could get younger pilots that are dying to build hours to connect with the older pilots that are dying to keep flying their aircraft and they help each other out. It's a symbiotic relationship. Here's your to-do list, because this is why we're doing this, is to get people flying. Go to the airport, ask around, see if there's anyone out there that has planes that aren't being used, and don't be afraid, go up and talk to them. They may love aviation as much as I do, Mark does, you do, and uh, see if you can maybe work something out and go flying together. More importantly, if you're one of the people that isn't flying your plane, but you just don't have the heart to sell it or let it go, and for whatever reason you're not using it, well, knock it off. <laughs> Get, give go back. find someone. Go find some, some young kids. Go talk to some local flight clubs, flight schools, and offer a way to maybe take your aircraft and go flying with some of these younger kids and show them a thing or two. Tell them some good old stories <laughs> that'll scare them to death. Make, make up keep some them new safe. ones. Make up some new ones. <laughs> All right, so one of the other ones um, was just uh, do more speaking engagements. Um, there were a lot of this about maybe uh, even the two of us, a lot of requests for Mark and I to go do speaking at colleges, schools. I actually think that's a great idea. So Mark and I are gonna start doing that. We've been doing that locally at uh, Utah Valley uh, College here n next to our airport. And, and we've, uh, we've done it every year at uh, Oshkosh and Sun and Fun, Sun and Fun or sometimes both. We get requests, and maybe the goal would be to try to accept more when yep. we can. We can't, we can't just travel out to anywhere and, and speak at any time. Um, but we're gonna step, we're gonna step, gonna it, up step see, it up and see what more we can do For to sure. speak because people are asking that. Yeah. Um, I think there were a lot of people asking about um, programs to give them money. There's a lot of themes on that, and some of them were really lighthearted, tongue-in-cheek, I know, and just said, Mike, take all your money and give it all the way to all the pilots. And I thought, well, that could happen. But I think you what I'm about to do, <laughs> I think what we can do, and Mark and I have done in the past, is we've put on um, events and then donated to various um, kids that we think felt worthy of getting a scholarship. Though, um, I, we won't give away everything we have, we're gonna keep working hard to grow aviation by building planes, but um, we're gonna see what we can do to give away money, directly cash, as some have asked us to do, to deserving pilots that maybe don't have another means to get there. So look forward to ways we're gonna work on doing that. And I think we've done a good job with that too. Um, uh, this was an idea we heard from someone that wrote in that, that we're already doing here at Best Hugs and have in the past, but I think there's eight pilots at Best Hugs that got their license through um, working here. So instead of doing cash bonuses and incentives, we're an aviation company in the aviation industry. We said, if you hit these goals, hit these targets, you get $300 more credit at the, at the flight school uh, for aircraft rental and, and flight training. And we've done enough of that, that we've had quite a few pilots finish off their pilot's license. Hey, so if any of you have a company and you like aviation, See if you can drag some of your employees in. Maybe you can do something like Best Tugs did. Let's, uh, let's bring more people into the, the herd, the flock. Uh, another the common thing was a lot of people asked to do us to do a TV show about aviation. So <laughs> um, I actually was surprised there was several people that uh, commented on that. Oddly enough, there's a couple of people asking us to do that. I don't know if it would go anywhere. We've said we are interested. We think that would be fun, who knows? Um, maybe these two flight brothers can go out and do something on aviation on TV. If you guys have any ideas, send them our way, creative thoughts of what maybe some way we could do TV show of some kind around aviation. If you thought you might be interested in something like that, let us know in the comments. In the meantime, we'll keep doing the YouTube. We have YouTube, so we'll, we'll keep doing that. We had a lot of people that said, I don't have a specific idea, but thanks for doing YouTube. Just don't stop. So, okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna, Keep building airplanes because I like to build airplanes.
Anyway, what else we got? I think probably, uh, we've got 10 names in a hat here. I think we should pick one and hopefully we can get a hold of somebody on the phone and give away a tug. Let's do that. We're giving away, it's uh, Best Tugs Alpha A2, is that right? Yep. Uh, Great for uh, smaller size aircraft. Uh, has a lot of horsepower and tight little package uh, for all you Cub guys and uh, Cirrus guys. This is a perfect kind of aircraft. So if this tug works for your plane, great. If not, you've won the tug. You could give it to someone else. You could sell it or we'll give you every penny of what it sells for full retail towards an upgraded tug. If for some reason, whoever wins this is flying a Pilatus and they need a great big monster ride-on tug um, we'll just go ahead and, and let trade you it in. trade it in for the dip folder upgrade difference. But if it will work for you, someone's about to rent a tug. Oh, me? I'm giving away a tug. <laughs> <laughs> I have absolutely nothing to do with it. <laughs> so, all right. So, Hans Adler. All right. A name like Hans, it's like... Hans? Hans? Is it... It, it, it's, I don't know. Of all the people that enter, we're going to end up giving away a tug that has to ship to Germany. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's, uh, let's, let's call up and see how it goes. Um, if you could get their name and number and let's call someone. Oh, this was the app. I remember this one. Oh, yeah, this is cool. So an app that brings student pilots and aircraft owners together. So it's, uh, that's a common one yeah. that we talked about. But I hadn't thought about the app. That's a fantastic idea. Great. Right. Let's give him a call. Uh, Washington, not Germany. All right. <laughs> so if they live in the U.S., is it still it's Hans or Hans? Does anybody know Hans? Hans. 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 All right. We're going to go with Hans. The problem is who answers their phone these days? No one does. Too many, too many fake calls. Hi, this is Mark Patey. How's your extended car warranty? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is Mike. I'm with Marriott Rewards. <laughs> We're gonna have to. Is this Hans or Hans? So Mike and I are sitting here trying Hans. to. Hans. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> I got it right. This this is Mark Patey and Mike Patey, and we just. <laughs> we're, we're sitting here. First off, is it okay that we're recording our phone call conversation with you here? Sure. Okay, awesome. Well, we, we wanted to call and tell you thanks for such an amazing idea about the app to bring young pilots and old pilots together to fly. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad you like it. In fact, I, I gotta say, we're, we, we're sitting here filming what we're doing here today, and we talked about our favorite ideas of all the ideas, and one of yeah. them was this getting the older people and younger people together. And, and it's been so long since we read yours and forgot about the app idea. And I'm like, now that we talked about that being one of our favorite ideas, and then yeah. you happen to be the one we draw out of a hat, it's gonna look staged <laughs> and it's not staged. <laughs> it's just, but, but there Mike- There's a lot of people that have a similar idea, get the younger generation paired up with the older generation and it was a really common theme. And so it's kind of neat that, uh, um, hey, we just, we, we, we found a bunch of our favorite ones. We couldn't pick the best. We put 10 in a hat and we drew out who gets a free tug and you are that man. Oh my goodness, wow, that's awesome. <laughs> the, question, the question is, do you have an airplane to move with it or is it gonna move a trailer? In a... <laughs> I'm, I'm leaning my elbow on it right now as we speak. Well, awesome. <laughs> Oh, do you have a best tug? No, a plane. No, I don't have any, any kind of tug, but I have an airplane. I'm leaning my elbow on my airplane. All right. <laughs> That's what, awesome. What, what do you fly? Uh, I just bought a, uh, this January, I bought a Comanche 260B. And oh, awesome. I'm here, in, I'm, I'm here in Minnesota. I just came in last night. Uh, and we're, we're putting new bladders in it and, uh, you know, doing a bunch of other things to get it airworthy. And the uh, plan is hopefully next week I'll be able to fly it home. And uh, well, that's yeah. now you can now you can spend your money on bladders and and avionics updates, and we'll take care of pushing it in and out of the hangar for you. Oh, that would be sweet. <laughs> <laughs> My wife's not going to believe this. <laughs> <laughs> well, we we can't thank you enough for for sharing your love of aviation with us and and writing the letter, yeah. and we're we're so happy to donate the tug and. And yeah. uh, hopefully somebody who watches these videos will hear this and say, hey, I'm the guy that can do an app that 
you know, somebody has the time or resource to, to donate a little bit back to the aviation community. Who knows? Maybe this sure. could really turn into something special. That would be awesome. Yeah. Uh, hey, uh, Mike, you need to finish those wings. <laughs> Wait, we have never heard that before. You are the first that person. Yeah, yeah nobody's that. waiting for wings. <laughs> uh, the, the ongoing joke, and, and I crack and laugh every time. It makes me happy. Okay. <laughs> I can't wait to see what you're going to do. I, you, the video you, you, where you were talking about, I'm going to do something that nobody else has done before. So I can't, can't wait to see what you're going to do. Yeah, it's, well, it was build an airplane without wings. That's That was it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks so much. And I appreciate it. We're going to... Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, close off and let you go. We're going to call you back later and get some details, addresses uh, offline. Okay. But um, uh, is there anything you would like to say to the aviation community while you're right here before we let you go? Oh, man. Uh, keep, airplanes, or keep airplanes flying and uh, be sensitive. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I couldn't agree more. All right. Hey, we're going to let you go. We're going to call you back and have someone call you to coordinate arrange, arranging delivery. I will get it right out to you, so we'll call you back shortly. Awesome. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. All thanks. Right. Take Bye -bye. care. Bye. Bye-bye. Well, that was fun. You guys couldn't have gone to a better guy. That was Sweet. super fun. Sweet. Okay. Makes me want to give away more text. Yeah, we, right? pro we probably should. We should try to make a regular thing of it. I agree. That just makes me happy. So I, we'll come up with more ways to give away more stuff. So. Absolutely. You know, we've got our new best power, power supplies, continuous power supplies. Maybe we can give one of those away. Let's give one of those away next. So we'll Maybe come. shirts and hats and stuff too. I don't know. We'll come up with things. Yeah. But. Anyway, share your love of aviation. How about all of you give that to your friends and family and neighbors' rides and, and share your love of aviation? If, if from all of those, the hundreds and thousands of comments we got, literally it was over a thousand, it may have been a couple thousand, that commented on ways to share aviation, I'm going to ask each and every one of you to dive in. Mark and I are going to take these ideas and we will work on them. We will do several of them and we want to ask one thing in return. We hope that you share your love of aviation. Take those ideas you came up with, find a way to put them to work. Go do it. You guys know the drill. <laughs> Back to work. All right, guys. So we just gave away a tag, at best tags. Which makes me want to give away more stuff. And so aviation for me is my passion. I do work for everything else. So for aviation, I just want to find ways to give back and for you to give back. So I want to do something to get more people some Dracos. And I don't want you to have to buy an aircraft to win. So we have a program out right now that if you buy a Draco, you can enter to win another Draco that you can keep or give away. But I want people that can't afford to buy a Draco have an option to win a Draco, because that seems way more fun. So what we're doing is we're gonna continue doing the program. The more people that buy a Draco, I get a small piece. It's kind of a marketing budget they had for selling RC aircraft that they said they'd give to me only if you buy uh, my Mike Patey. If you buy anywhere else, some other marketing group gets that money. I want that money to go back to you and to growing general aviation. So it's great if you buy a Draco on my site, we're going to take a cut of that, buy more Dracos, and give them away. So, if you can't afford to buy a Draco right now, what I want you to do is just go on to MikePady.com, and I'll put it up on a link right here, and write to me what you're doing currently to grow general aviation. I want to hear what you're doing, and I'm going to read through those and pick a handful of the ones I like, put them in a hat, and give away a bunch of Dracos to those of you who aren't currently able to buy one. So the way this is working, aviators giving to aviators, is those of you who can afford to buy a Draco, and you're gonna get it anyway, buy it through mine, part of that revenue that would have gone to some marketing campaign is going to give Dracos to people who can't buy them. 
For those of you who already bought and entered and sent in the email to win a free Draco, you still have your same chances to win. We're not changing anything. You're in a pool of people that get to win Dracos, and I will put that out soon. As soon as we get more people in and the more planes that are being bought, continues to build that. But you're also helping get more Dracos to give to people who can't buy it. So it's coming back. Don't worry, if you're already in the entry, you're still gonna win. They're just the same amount of chance of winning as you were before. We're just, I'm gonna buy more Dracos and give more away. And we're gonna give away a bunch of stuff at Southern Fund. So I'm going to Southern Fund and I hope I see you guys there. And I want people to have a chance to win some Dracos at Southern Fund, as well as a bunch of shirts, um, hats, gear, best tugs gear, scrappy shirts, Draco shirts, back to work. Um, I got a bunch of random stuff on my website, mikebaby.com. If you buy on there and you're wearing one of those articles of clothing or hats or t-shirts, any one of them, Draco, Scrappy, Back to Work, Best Tugs, any of those uh, shirts or hats at Sun and Fun, I won't be doing it, but I've enlisted my four kids and my wife, and they're gonna be going around looking for you, and they're gonna give away a bunch of cell phone charger packs that say Best Tugs on it, because we know everyone's phone's going dead, recording all the cool stuff at the air show. We're also gonna go give away more sh shirts, hats, and gear to people that are wearing their aviation gear they got from me. Or if you're someone who doesn't care for any of the gear I have to offer, um, just get an old shirt. I don't need you to buy something from me to win something that we're giving away at Sun and Fun. But I want, you, I want to know that you share the passion and you're watching videos and you're sharing your love of flight with me and wearing it loud and proud with everyone else. So if you want to win free stuff without buying anything, get an old t-shirt you're gonna throw away, any shirt, maybe a flying shirt, maybe just a junker that was about to go in the trash. I don't care if you get out a spray can and draw on it or a Sharpie or anything, just write something that will let my family know that you want to win some free stuff while you're at the air show. So write Draco on it, back to work, Scrappy, best tugs, any of those things, dress up a shirt any way you want it so my kids can find you and they're gonna go around and give back everything we are getting in turn to all of you. Thank you all for watching. I'm having a lot of fun doing this. I hope you guys are as well. I appreciate all your comments. If you have ideas for more ways for me to give back, give to aviation, or ways that other, the rest of you can share your love of aviation, grow aviation. I, I hate to see it sinking away and I feel like it's coming back. What we can all do to bring it back loud and proud so it becomes, it stays with us forever in the way it is today. We can fly anywhere we want, land on a mountaintop, go camping, fly just for fun. And there's a lot of countries that have lost that today. And it's sad. And I wanna make sure that we hold on to it forever. The best way to do it is get more of you sharing aviation and flying with everyone else. Thank you. You guys know the drill. I love you all. Let's get back to work.